I'm Ella, you're watching Clothes Show TV, and we're here at Graduate Fashion Week with Hilary Alexander. Hilary, lovely to meet you. We're now nearing the end of Graduate Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. How do you feel it's gone so far? I think that this has probably been the most successful Graduate Fashion Week we've uh -huh. had in 22 years. Are there any particular designers that have really stood out for you? I tend to sort of look overall at colleges, and what has really impressed me is the fact that some of the smaller colleges you perhaps wouldn't expect have produced really sensational final year collections, mm. like Rochester, for example. Epsom was very good. UCLan, um, Nottingham Trent, amazing knitwear. And I think this is one of the thrills of Graduate Fashion Week, that you're, we're not just focusing on colleges in London, we're looking at the talent yes. from right across the country. And looking beyond the graduates, are there any designers that have maybe just come onto the scene that you really can think will be really fantastic in a few years' time? Well, there's a girl called um, Claire who joined um, the George G21 programme at Graduate oh, yes. Fashion Week last year. And two pieces from that collection um, were taken up by Lady Gaga. Amazing. And she's now designing a sort of high street capsule collection for George. So when you hear success stories like that, it really gives you hope. On a similar subject, bloggers, what do you feel um, has been their impact on the industry and on journalism? I'm not so certain that bloggers have had much impact on journalism. I think they've had an impact on the industry and in that they've been able to bring a slightly different viewpoint to a very um, much wider audience who perhaps normally wouldn't read about fashion. And of course, you're one of the most respected fashion journalists in the industry. Do you have any advice that you'd give to aspiring fashion journalists for how to kind of break into such a competitive world? We had a, quite an interesting discussion here on this very stage with uh, Susie Lau, um, Susie Bubble and um, Melanie Rickey talking about that very subject. And they were stressing the importance of having a particular point of view and also of finding a niche that nobody else is covering. Because there are plenty of bloggers out there um, who are writing purely about what they eat and drink and wear. And it's perhaps slightly more interesting to the general public to talk about something that not many other people are talking about. And who's the most interesting person you've ever interviewed? Oh, wow. <laughs> so many. Um, obviously, Karl Lagerfeld, John Galliano, Lee McQueen. I mean, I couldn't pick yes. out one. <laughs> As you know, Close Show TV is making a comeback. Right. Did you watch it the first time around? Oh, yes. I was involved in Close Show and also in Close Show Live up in um, oh, Birmingham NEC for many years. Do you have a favourite Close Show TV memory? Um, I liked, always liked the ones when they were going to factories. Yes. And sort of seeing behind the scenes, particularly when it was concentrating on British manufacture, tweeds, you know, cashmere, the sort of things that really are part of the heritage, to, I think, let the audience understand that the fashion business is serious. It's not, you know, just about catwalk shows. It employs thousands, hundreds yes. of thousands of people. Well, thank you so much, Hilary. That's all for now. Don't forget to check back on Close Show TV for all your fashion needs.